students we have been discussing about the relational model it consists of tables it consists of the relationship between the tables and so on about the entities the type of relationships the cardinality and so on so in this slide and in the subsequent slides and in this model i'll be talking about what is the relational model itself the, the, the relational model is based upon edgar cord's rules 13 rules 0 2 12 they are numbered he is considered as the father of the relational model what he has described is the perfect relational model and there are hardly any products in the market which follow all those rules to the letter and spirit but it defines the relational model and banks financial institutions big organizations airlines industry they are working based on that relational model it's a robust model so what i'll do in this module is to briefly go over those uh, rules of cord and in the next module i will explain those rules using some simple example so let's start with those rules so this is the foundation rule rule number 0 this rule must be applicable it has to be there for a database model to be relational model this is mandatory rule it is understood this is by default what it is saying that whatever it is stored okay that is stored in the tables and whatever tables are there in the database they are related there are no independent tables independent means there are no floating tables it means that every table is associated it is related with at least one table there are no independent or floating tables and there are permissions of course the administrator has a lot of uh, all the rights the permissions are assigned to insert to update to delete on those tables and how is this performed this is performed using a query language which could be sql and all the subsequent rules the next 12 rules they are based upon this rule number 0 now let's briefly go over those rules the information rule the information rule states that the data which is stored in a database that will be stored in a table it will be stored in a cell what is a cell a cell is a cross section of a row and a column it will be stored there more details in the next module guaranteed access rule it means that the concept of primary key which i have already discussed that using the primary key using the table name and the desired column i should be able to get what i want that is the guaranteed it is guaranteed should be able to get the data that of course this rule the uh, rule number 1 they are implemented in uh, all the relational models systematic treatment of null what is a null it means that if something is unknown if something is not applicable if it's missing there should be a consistent and systematic representation the data type is is irrelevant that i will explain in the next module then is the rule active online catalog active and online catalog means that uh, in in my space okay working space i have multiple tables tables have their uh, columns which are the attributes they have their constraints they have relationships they are indexes all that information is again stored in a table and the people with the right rights they are able to query that table and retrieve the data that is the active online catalog this is like a data dictionary or the metadata data about the data itself comprehensive data sub language rule and i will use the same language to access that dictionary the language which i have been using to access the standard tables view updating rule i generate a representation of the tables that is a view and when i change the view okay the table should be changed this is kind of a tricky thing 
However, if I change the table, the view change, that is kind of straightforward. High level insert, update and delete rule. So this can be performed at a high level. It means that I don't go at the detail. I can do it for uh, 10, 100 or 1000 records. I should be able to do that. Physical data independence. It is irrelevant whether my data is stored on the type of hard disk or on multiple hard disks or how it is indexed that is irrelevant that is the physical data independence logical data independence logical data independence and uh, logical data independence basically in this context is that my data is stored on two tables which is vertically split or it is stored on multiple table horizontal split or it's a combination to me it appears as a single table as a user, as a programmer. Integrity, independence. Whatever changes are being made, those changes must be made to the query language. No other shortcut, no other way. No, that if that is the case, it's a violation. Distribution, independence. This is, it is irrelevant where my data is stored. I am in country one, my data is in country one, part of in country two, part on continent 3 on the server on the cloud is irrelevant this is the basis for the distributed databases and finally non subversion rule there should be no backdoor there should be no secret entry point there should be no other thing to change the contents of the database other than the language being used that's all now i will explain these points with examples in the next module thank you very much